Hey, what's going on you guys? It's your man James aka JP back again with another toy room review. Today we're taking a look at the World of Nintendo Animal Crossing Tom Nook figure. Uh, like I said, this is from the Animal Crossing series. So you got this very nice bright blue background with all the Animal Crossing characters. Open window right here. You got the Animal Crossing A New Leaf logo right there. So this is based off of the newest video game. Uh, you got Tom Nook on the side. On the back you got a little read up. So if you do want to read that, go ahead and pause that now. And then coming to the bottom, you got all the other figures from this wave, uh, which I already have, minus uh, Metroid, the bomb Bomb, and I think that's it. I, I, I couldn't find these two. I have the rest or passed on the rest, and Orange Squid is coming up next, so stay tuned for that. But that's it for the packaging, so let's go ahead and get him out of the packaging, and then we'll take a closer detailed look at him. All right, and here's the figure out of the packaging. So I had to put him all the way back here because... Just like with the other Animal Crossing figures, he is very top heavy, doesn't have um, really a good support with his feet here, very thin feet, so he does fall over because of his tail, and he's got a pretty heavy head. But we'll take a look at the figure here, so the head sculpt is very, very nice. We could uh, focus in right here. So you got this nice like orangish brown that fades into a darker brown, looks very, very nice. You got the drooped eyes right there, and you got the nice detail in the ears. Coming through and then down here, you have a nice green sweater. Uh, the paint didn't come out too clean on these triangles right here. You can see some of the paint bleeding through. But you got this uh, kind of yellowish green right here and this blue. And then you got some white here for the sleeves. Got some scuff marks on there. And you got the black little thread pieces here. And you got dark gray pants. It's kind of hard to tell. There we go. So I've got some dark gray coming to the tail. We have again that orangish brown that fades into the darker brown. And then you got his uh, feet that are brown exposed right here. Like I said, uh, very, very top-heavy figure. Not good support. Doesn't have any peg holes at the bottom. Doesn't come with the stand or anything. So you would have to prop him up against something to get him to stand. Now for his articulation, it's pretty basic. The head can move left and right. And the arms can move forward and back. You know, full 360, but it is hindered by his head. Uh, nothing in the waist, nothing in the legs, so that is pretty much it as far as the articulation goes for this figure. And for a comparison, here is the Tom Nook figure next to the Villager figure from the same Animal Crossing series. Now, I haven't actually played the Animal Crossing games. I am pretty much just familiar with the characters as far as their names and stuff like that, and from the cameos they've made in Super Smash Brothers. but outside of that, I don't know anything about these characters. Uh, one thing I just noticed that I forgot to mention, it's kind of hard to see, but you have a pen right here in the pocket, and also a little tie right there in the neck of the shirt, so I did forget to mention that. Um, but overall, this guy looks really good. These Animal Crossing figures have pretty much the most paint detail out of any of the World of Nintendo figures, so very, very good detail. Unfortunately, they suffer from the uh, lack of being able to uh, stand on their own. You would just have to um, prop him up against, uh, you know, obviously a background or something like that. Overall, still a good looking figure. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Also, share this video with your friends. Stay tuned for more, and as always, I will see you guys next time.